All right, so this is what I like. You can see in real life, I got this here. I got my collective down here. Look, that's working. This is great. Oh, if here, I got buttons here. I can switch to my different weapons by pushing buttons here. And then I got my ability to fly here. So this is great. And this is what flying helicopters is all about. This I'm using all the views so I can look down and land. I can push to go up and I can kind of look left, look right. Slowly pull up that collective. Get those pedals ready so it can, uh... there we go. Oh, that's nice. Get this big beast going. Let's get some hellfires going here. Nope, that didn't work. Hi there, welcome to SimiCheck. Today I'm going to go through and show you how to create a helicopter uh, simulator. We're going to be using the Thrustmaster for the collective. So we're going to hook up the collective so it's kind of in a way that it resembles a real helicopter collective. So it should be in arm's length and it'll allow us to go up and down. What's nice about the Thrustmaster is we also have this axis here. So we could use that for throttle and then this will be pitched. Not all games have the throttle, but if it's a real simulator, it'll have the throttle. Most games will just have the collective, which is fine. I needed to attach this, so we're gonna put this upside down so it becomes more of a control thing. We'll have some buttons here, and we'll be using a joystick here to fly the, uh, the helicopter. Okay, so the parts you need for this are these screws. If you go to our website, sibicheck.com, and look up this simulator, I'm gonna give detailed uh, examples of what sizes and everything you need, so go to our website and check that out and all these parts uh, for this job. So here we go, let's start. Side tickets actually will be upside down. We'll be hanging the collective here. There is a screw hole in here. So we're gonna hang it here and this is gonna allow us to kind of sit pretty comfortable with my feet on the pedals down there. <clears throat> so the first step is just to screw this angled bracket in. Next we're gonna use this part to actually hold this in place. So I'll show you my idea here. If we come here, so we have this part underneath, the screw goes through, and then what we're going to do is we're going to angle down these parts so it kind of keeps this from moving left and right. And now let's angle this down. Just use vice grips here. So we want to get it in the right angle. So I assume it's going to be like like this. So not to break my joystick, I'm going to remove this. And now I'm going to just simply bend it. Oh, that's okay actually. And now we'll bend down the other part. I really don't have the right tools for this. pretty good actually. It's actually preventing it from going uh, left and right. And that is very sturdy. So the next step is we're going to attach it to here. So we have this. This comes through here. Now the only problem I found is I guess you could drill another hole. That's up to you. I don't want to drill any more holes, so I'm going to just use a zip tie to connect over. There we go, that's fairly tight. Let's put this upside down now. So now we have the SciTech here, able to do run controls. For example, mixture we could do, we could have buttons here. And now we can actually, oh, that's nice. And that's almost the same as in real life. You see the, in the game, you can see it's almost matched to even to the angle, like where I'm sitting and I pull up and pull down and I can quickly attach, I can shoot, I can change back and forth. The pro pedals at the bottom. Right now I have it all set up to the views. So this is uh, look, look right, look left, this look up. And then on the front, I actually have the trigger to look down here. These are just the commands that I couldn't do directly through the game. For example, look down. Um, you have to push the number pad key uh, for 300 milliseconds. And then when you release, 
you have to go number eight for 300 milliseconds. So that's not very intuitive. If you're, if you're flying around and then you push down a little bit and push up, you kind of lose the horizon. So I really needed to set it up so you can kind of see the horizon. You can see these IKEA things are really amazing. The Kallax series, if you, these are really good because you can make an angle in, have a piece of wood here, put some copper here just to feel like a real, <laughs> feel like a real helicopter. Here we go. All right, RBM lights down. Let's get this thing moving. Oh, that is nice. You can just feel how big this helicopter is, <laughs> even though it's a simulator. This thing is awesome. So I can look around here. I can push trigger to go down. So when I'm landing, I can angle down and land. Um, also here I can look right, look left. I mean, they're saying here the Sling Load Assist. I've set it up so I got um, this button here can turn on my sling. It seems to be green. Oh, I kind of drifted off. Let's drift back a little bit. Come on. Because I'm holding my finger now and I'm kind of, my brain kind of thinks I'm looking down. So slow down here, adjust the collective slowly to get to land, come right nicely. Down. Oh yeah, that's nice. hover a little too low here Let's bring it up a little bit okay and slowly descend over these solar panels lower the collective nice and smooth there we go we're clear next pull up the collective let's fly to the tower Tower is the one I'm having the hardest time with. This thing is hard. Keep his collective moving. Okay, gotta slow that speed down so when I get here I'm going a lot slower. Oh dear. 
Let's get away from that big piece of concrete. Okay, slowly. Get myself set up again. Let's descend a little bit. Really making sure I don't descend more than 10, uh, well, 100 feet per minute. Okay, so here we go. Let's slowly get in there. Okay, it is a nice angle. Clear. Oh yeah, that feels so good to be clear from that. It is so hard. And I gotta do another one. Okay, number two. They probably put those little circles a little closer to the tower just to make it harder. Okay, let's slowly come in here. Oh, it's on that side I gotta get. Okay, let's get on the other side. Okay, there's the tower. Come on, tower. Come back to me. Okay, let's get a hover going here. Oh, and I fell away from it. Let's try again. Let's get closer. Okay, I'm we'll pitch a little too far forward. Too soon? Oh, man. Okay, let's slowly get here. Too soon, oh my god. Okay, oh, that is a scary, scary tower. Okay, let's get over here, slowly. Slowly. That's my VSI, I'm actually descending slowly, so I'm just gonna hold this. Oh, come on. Stay. I did it! Oh! Yes! Okay, where's the next one? Okay! Go watch our VSI. Let's get in there, slow down, pull back, and slow down a lot. Oh! I should, probably should have went through forward. But look how nice this is as you come and just kind of move around the helicopter and just... This is what's beautiful about helicopters. Look at that. Oh, that feels so good to fly it, fly it through. Okay, let's go through our thing. Okay, we're clear. Next one, number five. Okay, now I'm going really fast. Let's slow down. Oh, and the graphics are beautiful as you come to the ocean. Remember, helicopters pull yourself through the air, so you gotta let yourself be pulled through. Not clear. Not clear. No, no kidding. <laughs> no kidding. Let's try this again. Okay, there's six. Let's descend a little bit. There we go. That's nice. And then you just hold it and just let yourself fly right through. That was Arma 3. Those helicopters are phenomenal. They really give a good experience, and after you hook up a realistic collective, it really helps you be immersed in your simulator. Anyway, check out our website for lots more resources for your simulator, including scripts, setups, and what gear you want. Well, need. Any feedback, please drop us a line or a comment. Remember, be more prepared by learning with your sim.